Today I'm going to show you my entire hair fragrance collection. And in case you want to know what per hair perfumes I own, then make sure you keep on watching. Hi, my name is Amanda and on this channel we talk all about um, luxury fragrance, beauty, lifestyle and other content. So in case it's something that you love, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I've seen a lot of people that watch but are not subscribed, so please do. Also, make sure you head down to my description box and follow me on social media, TikTok and Instagram because we are a little more personal there and I would love to connect with you there as well. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So. Um, for those who don't know, I actually, there's a lot of people that actually don't know their specific perfumes just for hair. And, um, I know a lot of people think it is a bit, um, uh, just a way to make money. Um, I think that there are differences because a lot of times hair fragrances have a lot less alcohol content or even non, uh, no alcohol at all, which makes it not damaging for the hair. If you spray your normal hair fragrance in your hair, it is really not good because it actually can dry out your hair. And um, so we don't want to do that. We just want to have a fragrance, hair fragrance. And also, I have to be honest, it's so nice on the vanity having fragrances just for your hair. I also think this is a great way to layer fragrances. For those who don't know, I actually filmed a video previously, but I can have a re-talk about it. Um, so you can combine different fragrances with each other without needing to spray them like so. You can just use a different fragrance for your hair and one for your body but let's get right into the beautiful selection so i've actually started i think a few years back to get like hair fragrances i just love it i love when my hair smells nice and i feel like especially when you use hot tools um the, the smell of the shampoo kind of goes away so it's really nice to have a fragrance for your hair that smells nice and i love to use it as a layering way of fragrances so there's like fragrances um, that I love to layer with certain hair perfumes. I will do a video on this because I think this is really really helpful So there's fragrances that I love to combine with my hair perfumes and um, yeah, now the selection is okay um, It's not big, but I think it is It is nice. So let's start um, Just randomly. Okay, so let's start with this one. This is actually a brand that is um, It's called Hera and they are a hair perfume brand and so they only do hair fragrances. They actually wanted to send me a few of their products because this I actually got a few years back, but I haven't gotten the package yet. I don't know what happened, but um, I I really like this fragrance and it smells really strong on the hair as well. Yeah, this is really nice one. It's called Signature. I think this is their main one and they can't, they, it came with a... It came with a little one to travel. I really love this fragrance. It's very strong, very vintage vibes, has an oriental touch to it and definitely smells in your hair for a long time. What I also really like is that when you use hair fragrances, they actually last for a long time in your hair. Also, hair fragrances are a really amazing way to test the fragrance. For example, if you want to purchase a really expensive fragrance, and the brand actually offers a hair perfume. You can ask, you can try the hair perfume first because hair perfumes are a lot long, a long, a lot of times a lot cheaper. So this is what I did actually with Delina. So I have the Delina hair perfume from, from Parfums de Marly, and a lot of people are obsessed with this fragrance. I think this is for me a classy, preppy fragrance. Um, like very elegant people wear this fragrance, and. I have to be honest, I think the price tag on the fragrance is high, uh, like so many, and I wasn't like I wasn't ready yet to make, to, you know, to really buy it because I don't have anything against popular fragrances. I have a lot of fragrances that are extremely popular, but if I want to spend a lot of money on a fragrance, I'd rather spend it on something very rare, something very um, unknown. There's like something about it that makes it much more valuable. I feel like so I decided to get the hair perfumes and a hair perfume and I didn't regret it. I love to wear this, especially because it has a very musky, rosy smell, like the Delina smell, a compliment gather. And I feel like you can pair this amazingly with any woody, woody fragrance. And I really love this. I also really like the size of it. It's um, 75 ml and I have this since quite a while. And I also really like the way it sprays. I'll show you. It's like a mist spray, so you're really able to get your hair all in. 
The only thing that I would say is the packaging. It's such a luxurious brand and I feel like it's not very bringing the luxury, but it's okay. And it's very strong as well. So when you wear this, definitely get noticed. Um, so I can highly recommend this one. So the next one is actually one that has been sent to me as well. It's called Kadina from um, a hair brand that is called Lapis Beauty. She um, sent me this so kindly with her hair products. I don't think this is international available. You have to check it out. I link anything, everything below always. My links are normally always US and um, international, UK. But um, when it comes to creators that are smaller and sometimes they only have local shops, I only link their shops. So she's done a gorgeous fragrance. It smells very similar to Baccarat Rouge. Not exactly the same, but it has similar vibes. It smells really great on your hair. Her hair products also smell like this and I love her hair products. They're really amazing, especially if you have a little bit more dry hair like me. Um, so I really, really like this. I think this is um, a great option as well if you love Baccarat Rouge and you want something that smells similar to add on top of your hair. But yeah, this is number three. Um, the next fragrance hair perfume that I have is Oud Satin Mood by Maison Cook Dijan. Um, and this is one that I really enjoy. Yeah, this is like a, for me, it gives me like a little bit of a Play-Doh vibes. You know, the Play-Doh-y smell with some rose, very elegant. And I really love this on the hair because although it's a strong smell, it's a subtle, subtle smell. For me, it's not an overpowering smell, very strong. I mean, it is strong, but it's not like heavy, you know. And it's a clean, no, it's not a clean. It's a um, very easygoing scent, meaning that um, you don't have to think about it too much. Like you can just wear it on every other fragrance, I feel like. And I really love this. And this, actually, this was the case. I felt like... Um, I wasn't sure spending the money for the actual bottle, so I just got the hair fragrance. And as you can tell, it's been used very, very often by me, and I really like it. The next one I have is the um, Lyra fragrance hair perfumed mist. mist. The perfumed hair mist from Casa Morat from Casa Morati Serjov, and Lyra is a crowd pleaser, very, very beloved and popular on fragrance youtube and i have the fragrance and i really like it i really like to wear it in winter but it's only for people with a sweet tooth so let me tell you this is a very desert like fragrance it smells like madlands i told you before i will not stop using this because it does richly smell like this french lemon bakery thing it smells like lemon cake and i think this is a very playful scent i mean who doesn't want to have hair that smells like lemon cake I mean, it depends on the day, but I really enjoy this as a hair fragrance. Um, it's very sweet. And it's also very comfy. So I, I actually love to wear hair fragrance also at home. I just like the way fragrance makes me feel. So if you have a bad day and you just want to smell really good and then just spread this fragrance, I think this will give you like a really cozy vibe. And I really like this. And I also did it the same way. I tested this fragrance out via hair fragrance and then I got the real fragrance but I have to tell you for me there are fragrances that I love for around the period like there's fragrance that I love for a certain period of time and then I like it but like I don't use it that much and I go back to it and for me Lira is a fragrance like that then my other surprising one for you is uh, Alien by Mugler um we all know this fragrance um I don't have the original fragrance um i used to wear it in my teens and i think i don't i'm not able to wear it on my skin anymore however on my hair i love that on the hair i kid you not it smells divine but you have to be careful because this is so strong like i'm not even kidding like you put it after your hair wash obviously when your hair is dry and you leave it like it smells for days it smells for days and I can just tell you it's like exactly the alien hair fragrance uh, it's exactly like the alien fragrance just maybe a little bit less concentrated and I prefer it I also feel like the alcohol content is less in here so that's why I really like it I really enjoy this one especially I think this is great for a date night night out you want to smell a bit more extravagant a little bit more 
strong, then you will need to have this one. Because I know a lot of women like to smell strong fragrances and I think you should go for it. Then another one that I really love to wear that you can tell that I've also seen a lot of you repurchase and um, purchase through my links. This is Roja Parfums Enigma Hair. Let me get it right. This is Roja Parfums Supreme Hair Mist Enigma. And you can tell I've used this. I love this one. I also think amazing price regarding their other fragrances from Roja. Roja is a very luxurious and very expensive brand. And a lot of people want to try it out, but I just, they are not ready to spend that money yet. So you can get the hair fragrance. And I love this. I actually wear this more than the actual Enigma perfume because it's very strong Enigma, especially when you add it first, and I really like it. I think it's very luxurious, and it took me time to love it, but I love it a lot. I mean, I liked it, but the more I wore it, the more I appreciated it. But this one, it just, it just smells so elegant on your hair. I don't know, it's for me the epidome of elegance. It gives me a royal vibe, very classy, expensive, so right up my alley. Then the next one that I have is from Gizu. This is the Gizu infused honey infused hair perfume. This is actually a brand created by one of the famous influencers, Negin Mersaleh. And this is a true honey. I don't own any of her hair products, but um, I own the hair perfumes and I've also really used this a lot. I have this since quite a long time. Um, it does smell like it does smell like honey, so it smells really nice on your hair. It's also an infused, um, but it's, I don't know if there's any benefits to it, but um, it smells really nice on the hair. For me, this is a day off kind of fragrance for my hair. And yeah. Second last is Rose Vanille by Mancera, uh, which is also the hair mist. As you can see, a really big bottle. Um, I haven't used it as much as I thought I would because I have to tell you, like when I started my niche brand journey and I started to discover niche brands, which was a long time ago, Mancera was like one of the first brands I discovered. And I feel like Mancera and um, Montale have a very distinct DNA. So I think either you like it or you don't, because in all of the fragrances I, I smelled, there is this distinct DNA below. And I really, enjoyed this for like a long time and now I do still like it I think it's a beautiful fragrance but I wear it less because I think it's very strong like if you sit next to me with this fragrance I will not stop thinking about how you smell and I'm not ready for that every day do you know what I mean so it's one for very, people who love a very strong fragrance again if you love Rose Mask by Montale, then you will love this. This is like for the people who love a little bit more of an oriental fragrance with um, strong notes and rose notes, then I can highly recommend this. Then my last one and personal favorite, and it's a new one. I, I don't know if I put the new, I, because I filmed the haul with this. I don't know if this is up or the this one first, we'll see. But yeah, this one is Tamine and this fragrance is Riviere and this is this gorgeous bottle. So I love Tamine. It's become one of my favorite luxury fragrance brands and look how gorgeous the bottle is. Like this for me is luxury. Do you see the magnetic bottle? And this is gorgeous. I had a few, few people told me because I love Peregrina, it's not a secret, that I should check out Riviere. And I thought, why not get the hair fragrance? And this is beautiful. So what I love about this, this is actually a little bit more of a lighter fragrance. I think there has to be some citrusy fragrance, uh, some citrusy notes, maybe some floral notes, but still has the Middle Eastern feel to it, but it's still very, very light. And that's extremely, extremely elegant. Oh, this is one that I already used. If you can see the chaos of perfume right now. Yeah, wow, this is so gorgeous. So what I love about this as well, I wear it in my hair and I tell you, I get compliments all the time. I like this because I feel like you can pop, 
perfectly pair this with a very strong fragrance because this is not an overpowering smell but it's just so gorgeous it's the perfect mix between a light and airy fragrance but still a middle eastern touch do you know what i mean and it smells so expensive so elegant very sophisticated and i'm really in love with this fragrance this is all i wear on my on my hair i really love this and that's it this is my hair fragrance collection it's not extremely big but um i think for hair fragrances it's quite acceptable and yeah uh, all the links are linked down below if you have a favorite hair fragrance that i don't know about please let me know in the comments down below also let me know what kind of videos did you want to see next and i see you next time